Hmm? Oh, you're already awake. Good morning, precious. I was hoping to make you breakfast in bed, but... Oh well, I guess that just means I get to eat with you. Oh, I know you told me to stay away from, and consequently out of your house, but... I just couldn't bear the thought of leaving you all alone today. It's your birthday. You don't deserve to be lonely. Listen, I get it. Really, I do, but... But if there is one thing I absolutely, positively cannot do... It's like you spend another birthday crying over a tub of ice cream while watching crap TV. You deserve to be pampered today. Actually, scratch that, you deserve to be pampered every day, but today especially. I'm just trying to make sure that my precious has the best birthday possible. Not to mention, if I leave, who will I give all these presents to? Oh, that got your attention, didn't it? Well, I guess I could stay if you really want me to that badly. Oh, don't be like that, precious. I'm not so bad. I promise, I'll make today the best birthday you've ever had. Now, why don't you go sit down? Breakfast is almost ready. Oh, by the way, precious, how do you take your coffee? I'm just kidding, I already know. Oh, come on, not even a chuckle? You're always so stone-faced. I swear, one day I'm going to get you to smile for me. When hell freezes over? Harsh. But I guess that just means I'll have to work extra hard. There's nothing I wouldn't do for you, even if it entails altering hell's weather. Why? Because I love you, of course. You can't possibly have forgotten. I make sure to text it to you every day. Unless you've blocked all the new numbers already. Precious, don't you know how hard it is to get a new number every other week? Not that I mind, of course, but my cell service provider is starting to get suspicious. So you haven't blocked them? Then why? Mmm, okay. But if you do decide you want to talk about it, I'm always willing to listen. Anyway, breakfast is ready. So, what did you want to do today, precious? I already have a few things in mind, but anything that you have planned takes precedence. Nothing? What do you mean, nothing? You can't possibly want to sit around a mobile day. I can't allow it. I know just the thing. You'll love it, I promise. I know I said that anything you have planned is more important, but that doesn't include wasting away in bed all day. I couldn't bear to watch you do that to yourself. Then don't watch. That's not what I meant and you know it. You're everything to me. I could never let myself sit idly by while knowing you're in a depressive funk on the most important day of the year. Of course it's the most important day. It's the day the world was gifted with your presence, after all. The day I was gifted with your presence. Your birthday is more important than any holiday. And it's a shame that I'm the only one who sees it. Don't get so embarrassed. It's true. Your birthday is my favourite day of the entire year. Wanna know why? Because today is all about you. And there's not a single person or thing that I love more than you. Huh? Why do you look so flustered? Did I say something? You gonna go get dressed? Oh, uh, okay. Don't be long. No, you can't take the blindfold off yet. Because I said so. For the last time, I'm not trying to kidnap you. 
Not this time, at least. Anyway, you can take it off once we're inside. Just don't let go of my hand. I don't want you to trip. Okay, we're here. You can take the blindfold off. Ta-da! The arcade. I know you're usually pretty busy with work, so you don't get the chance to come here very often, but... I figured that since you're free today and I'm paying, I'd let you run wild. Hold on, I'll go get us some tokens. Are you alright, Precious? A lot of people here today. Yeah, I did notice that when we came in. Don't worry, though. As long as you stay with me, everything will be okay. So, where do you want to go first? Skeevil? Really? I I'm not judging, it's just that usually their skeevil machines are messed up, aren't they? What do you mean that's the point? Okay, okay, I trust you. Lead on. Wait, you're telling me that you can basically get infinite tickets and they still haven't noticed? Damn. I know minimum wage isn't exactly a great motivator, but still. You'd think they'd do something about it. Well, what are we waiting for then? Let's commit some arcade crimes. Alright, so with 53,522 tickets we can afford... Everything. Literally everything. Maybe playing 30 rounds of skee-ball was overkill. Well, of course I'm not doubting your genius, Precious. I'm just saying we may have a few thousand left over. Well, then I guess the kid behind us is going to be very, very lucky. Now then, what should we get? Me? You want me to pick? If you insist. Be warned that you may not have any space left in your bedroom, though. Hi, I'll take one of every stuffed animal, please. Also, the lava lamp. Oh, and... A giant slinky and one plastic spider ring. Uh, yes, that's everything. Yes, I'm sure. Go ahead and give the rest of the tickets to the person next in line. Okay, I have no idea how to carry this all to the car, but I'm sure I'll manage. Yep, these are all for you. Every last one of them. I did warn you what would happen if you let me pick. I just can't help but want to spoil you, precious. I know you don't need all of these, but I still want you to have them. I know they don't adequately express my love for you, but it's a start. Anyway, let's get you home. I'm sure you're exhausted from the many, many rounds of skee-ball and dance dance revolution. Alright, finally home. I'll get everything out of the car. You go relax, okay? Yeah, do you want me to put them all in your room, or should I just leave them in the living room? Okay, will do. By the way, there's one very important prize that I want to give you directly. Can you hold out your hand for me? It's a spooky spider ring. It even glows in the dark. Huh? No, I'm not going to ask you to marry me. I already know what you're going to say. You've been stalking me for two years. Why on earth would I marry you? Which is totally fair, by the way. But that's sort of why I'm giving you this ring. I know you still don't like me very much, and I have a long way to go before I earn your trust, but... I wanted to give you this as a symbol of my dedication. One day, I hope that you will let me marry you. But for now, I can be content knowing that you know just how much I adore you.
Wait, really? You'll give me a shot? Oh my god, precious. I'm so happy right now I could burst. I won't, but I could. You have no idea how much you're saying that means to me. Too much? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll calm down. But for real, I'm so happy to have you. Happy birthday, precious.